hello guys welcome please smash the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to address this abdul here that you see in the background he made a video about my last video and tried to expose me he tried to expose rob christian <laughs> i'm going to show you that he's nothing but a certified donkey who thinks that he has the knowledge and the courage to expose someone like me this guy has no clue what he's talking about he doesn't speak Arabic but at the same time calls himself a Muslim I think he's from Senegal he calls himself the ultimate truth mr. ultimate truth you're going to get spanked in this video and served for everybody to see let me start playing one of his videos so you will understand what kind of person this guy is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuhu what what is this what is this is this arabic it's assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuhu ta'ala what's ta'ala learn arabic man you call yourself a muslim you don't know arabic Remember, your Allah is a very limited false god. He doesn't speak any other language except Arabic. As stated in the Quran, the Quran was sent down in Arabic. So learn Arabic, then call yourself a Muslim. Then, when you learn the Arabic and you can pronounce the basic sentences of Islam, then come and try to expose Rob Christian or anyone else. Okay, so guys, for the argument's sake, let us play the video where he's trying his best to expose what I said in my last video. Like I said, first watch my last video, then continue watching this video. Let us start. Muhammad Hijab said for 400 years, no Jews, no one, no Christian claimed Trinity, Trinity, three gods, God the Son, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit. That's what he said. He was no teaching about that. Abdul, first of all, Muhammad Hijab was spanked during this debate with uh, David Wood. So he's nothing but a certified donkey like you because you are agreeing with him, right? No Christian for the last 400 years or the first 400 years of Christianity said that Jesus is God. What? Christians gave up their lives for Jesus Christ. And Muhammad Hijab is a certified donkey like you again because we Christians don't believe that there are three gods like you said earlier there's only one God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit are one this is what Christians believe this is what the Bible teaches so you have no clue what you're talking about and you are already spanked and served <laughs> let me continue guys for the argument's sake all right let's debunk this this guy is a dummy he's a stupid you know uh, ignorant yes he's nothing but a parrot read your bible dummy matthew 27 verse 22 read mark read john abdul abdul you're calling me all of kind of names it's okay you know for us it's a blessing to be cursed and to be called all kind of names that's what jesus taught us so i'm blessed for you calling me all these kind of names you know the thing is you have no clue about your own quran your quran in chapter 4 if you watch my last video and you focused because you're not focusing you clearly did not watch it correctly 
because you are addressing addressing something that is not there that is not said i was quoting what your quran said go watch the video then try to expose me right you muslims you need to drink camel urine more because you are losing focus when you are trying to debate or try to expose christians your quran says and i quote and they are saying the jews they are saying indeed we have killed the messiah no jew ever made this claim why because the jews are still waiting for the messiah to come that's what i said in my last video how can they make the claim we killed the messiah while the messiah they they consider the real messiah did not come yet that's what they believe right they are still waiting till today so how can they have claimed they killed the messiah so here the quran in chapter 4 ayah 157 is lying so you have no clue what you're talking about you have no clue what your quran says go read your own quran right because the jews did not call jesus the messiah only the followers of jesus called him the messiah the jews who accepted him to be the son of god not the jews who rejected him who wanted him dead right so no jew who rejected jesus would have called him the messiah or have said and i quote we jews i quote we have killed the messiah they would have never said it they would have never dared to say that because they never accepted jesus to be the messiah in the first place they are waiting for the real their real messiah to come right so mr ultimate truth again you have been spanked and served for the second time let us continue guys matthew 27 22 when Pilate asked him first of all who who called jesus and handed him to Pilate to be judged and to be crucified okay this abdul has no clue what he's talking about if we go to matthew 27 27 22 this is 27 22 let me read for you matthew 27 22 it says Pilate said unto them what shall i do then with jesus which is called christ so here Pilate heard from somewhere that jesus is called by his followers jesus christ jesus the messiah right so the jews responded they all sent unto him let him be crucified so the jews wanted him dead right but they did not believe that he's the christ right that's what the followers of jesus believed him to be not the jews who rejected him they didn't accept him to be the messiah so your quran is lying the jews never said they killed the messiah no that's false so you have no clue what matthew is saying here yes the jews wanted him dead but they did not call him the messiah as your quran says right read chapter 4 ayah 157 it says the jews are saying we kill the messiah that's not what the jews said they never made that claim they are still waiting for the messiah so how can they dare to say we kill the messiah <laughs> you're an ignorant abdul 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 you're a certified donkey you have no clue about your quran but you want to teach us the bible didn't your quran commanded your fake prophet and you muslims to go to the people of the book when it comes of understanding the previous scripture go to the people of the scripture who received the scripture before you right that's what the quran says so if you want to learn about the bible come to us don't try to teach us our bible because that's what your quran says go to the people of the book we are the people of the book right so if you want to learn about christianity come to me i will teach you abdul so again for the third time you have been spanked exposed and served let us continue the claim that they they kill the messiah go read again matthew 27 60 to 64 go read 
Abdul, Abdul. The Jews never said we killed the Messiah. Stop lying. Show me one Jew who dares to claim that they have killed the Messiah. They didn't believe that Jesus is the Messiah. The Jews who rejected Jesus, they did not believe that he is the Messiah. So how can they say we have killed the Messiah? Abdul, you're stupid. You're a donkey. You're a certified donkey. Focus what I'm saying. Focus to what I'm saying. Right? The Jews are still waiting for their Messiah. So how can they say we have killed the Messiah? Focus, Abdul. Focus. Stop smoking hashish. Stop chewing on that gad. Because I know you African Muslims love to chew on gad. And smoke hashish. Stop. It's killing your brain cells. At least drink some camel urine. Maybe then you can start to focus on what I said in my last video. Your Quran in chapter 4, ayah 157, is lying about what the Jews are saying. No Jew ever said, we have killed the Messiah. How can they make that claim while they are still waiting for their Messiah to come? Yes, they wanted Jesus dead. Yes, they even picked up stones to kill him. Right? But they never ever made the claim, and I quote, we have killed the Messiah. That's a lie by Muhammad. Jews never made that claim. Okay? Yes, they wanted him dead, but they have never said, and I quote, we have killed the Messiah. Your fake prophet have lied in the Quran. He lied in chapter 4, ayah 157. Let us continue. Again, you have been spanked and served. It says, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. Not the well, wait a second. Since when did the Jews ever in history crucify people? Why you keep on repeating yourself? You just said it. Keep on going. Let me move this forward. Abdul, why are you not addressing what I said? Are you scared? Scumbag? You're a scam like your fake prophet. You're a certified donkey like your fake prophet. See, he doesn't want to address that the Jews never ever crucified people. The Jews wanted Jesus dead for blasphemy. He made himself equal with God. He called himself the son of God. He said before Abraham, I am. So the Jews picked up stones to kill Jesus. But no Jew ever in history crucified anyone. Only the Romans had the authority in the time of Jesus to crucify people. The Jews were not allowed and they never crucified anyone as the Quran claims in chapter 4, ayah 157. If you watch my last video, you have seen that I busted the fake prophet of Islam in that ayah. This is nothing but a fabrication. Right? The Jews never crucified anyone. Again, Muhammad is lying in the Quran. And this guy is running from it. He doesn't want to address it. Because he knows, I just exposed the fake prophet of Islam. Why are you not addressing what I'm saying, Abdul? You're scared, right? Ah, oh, poor Abdul. Anyway, you again have been spanked and served. Let us continue. Keep on going. Let me move this forward. Because this guy is a dummy. He's just repeating the same thing over and over. Another was made to resemble to him. Now guys, where do you think Muhammad got the idea from? This last part. I'm going to show you that Muhammad is nothing but a stealer of ideas that used to circle around in the Arabic Peninsula, around the Mediterranean Sea, actually. This was not his idea. He simply stole it, he copied it, he borrowed it, and he put it in this ayah. I remember, guys, this is the only ayah that speaks about the crucifixion. 
So Muslims are dependent on this ayah. If we can destroy this ayah today, and we are doing so, as you see, we already destroyed claim number one and claim number two. We're going to destroy claim number three. And let me show you where Muhammad stole this last part from. Come on. Come on. As we know, Muhammad, the fake prophet of Islam, was born in 571. And 570. Liar, it's 571, not 570. Let me show you. Abdul, I went to Prophet Google, peace be upon him. And I simply typed Muhammad birthday. And Prophet Google says, the date of birth of Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, is in April 22, 571 AD. You said 570. You are lying. You are ignorant about your fake prophet. Go learn about the date of birth of your fake prophet. Again, you have been spanked and served. I already lost count, guys, how many times I already spanked this Abdul in this video. Let us continue. 570. So Muhammad no, it's 571. Liar. Who's the liar? The six, ten. So that's in the 7th century. Filthy liar, man. Four centuries earlier, there was this document, this writing, this Gnostic writing called the Second Treatise of the Great Set. It was a well-known Gnostic writing that used to circle around in the Arabic Peninsula. This document, this writing, was well known. People had access to this document, including Muhammad. Remember, Muhammad was working under Khadija. And Waraq ibn Nofil, he had access to many Aramaic writings, including this one. So now you will understand, if you re will read with me, where Muhammad got the idea from that another was made resemble to him. Remember? But another was to resemble him. First of all, you're a liar. I'm a liar, right? You're a liar because you're, and you're an ignorant. Like I proved to you, you're an ignorant. <laughs> this is in your Bible. In my Bible. Go again to read Matthew 27, 32. Matthew 27, 32. Let us go to Matthew 27, 32. Okay, this is Matthew 27, 32. Read with me. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. Okay, where does it say that Simon of Cyrene was the one who was put on the cross instead of Jesus Christ? It does only say that Simon of Cyrene, he carried the cross for Jesus. Because remember, Jesus was almost beaten to death he suffered from the beating by the romans before he was put on the cross so jesus when he was carrying his cross to golgotha he fell on the ground and simon of cyrene was forced to carry his cross for him but it does not say that Simon of Cyrene was the one who was put on the cross. The confusion is by your prophet alone. Your prophet has no clue who the real Jesus is. He lied about the crucifixion. Right? Yes, Jesus was crucified and resurrected on the third day. So your fake prophet is nothing but a liar. So thank you for proving to us that Matthew 27, 32 is destroying the Quran and Islam. Thank you very much. Let us continue. Matthew 27, 32. As they were going out, they met a man from Siren named Simon and forced him to carry the cross of Jesus. So? So this is in your Bible. This is not a, this is not a story. We know, we know. Abdul, now, we know. John. You're not teaching us anything. Now, yeah. here they're saying that, that Simon carried the uh, carried the cross but john is saying no 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 it's not siren john 1917 is saying that jesus himself carried the cross don't you see the problem 
Don't you see now? No, I don't see the problem. Guys, instead of addressing this 3rd century Gnostic writing called the Second Treatise of the Great Set, he changed the topic and he wants to talk about a so-called contradiction, right? You heard him, right? He wants to talk about a contradiction. So he wants to change the topic instead of addressing that Muhammad stole this idea from the 3rd century Gnostic writing and he adopted it in the Quran lying about the crucifixion of Jesus saying that it was Simon of Cyrene who was put on the cross instead of Jesus we know it's a lie it's a fabrication so this guy instead of addressing this issue he changed the topic and he wants to talk about a another so-called contradiction in the Bible between the Gospels which is not there of course there is no contradiction in the Bible right let me show you that this Abdul has no clue what he's talking about. Let us go to this so-called contradiction that he's talking about that has nothing to do with this whole topic. But anyway, we are Christians. We don't run. We don't hide. We can actually show you that there is no contradiction. Let me show you the so-called contradiction and, and refute it because there is no contradiction in the Bible. Let us go to what he's talking about. Okay, I did some research to show you that we actually can address what he says. And he mentioned a so-called contradiction, right? That is actually not there. So, did Jesus or Simon of Cyrene carry the cross? Simon of Cyrene is mentioned in Matthew 27, 31, 32. And if after they had mocked him, they took his robe off and he put his garments on him. So... They took uh, the garments of Jesus and they were mocking Jesus and led him away to crucify him, to crucify Jesus. So actually the crucifixion <laughs> is actually proved here. And as they were coming out, they found a man of Cyrene named Simon, whom they pressed into service to bear his cross. So to carry the cross of Jesus because Jesus fell on the ground and he was too tired to carry the cross further. To Golgotha right and then mark 15 20 21 and after they had mocked him mocked Jesus they took the purple of him and put his garments on him on Jesus and they led him out to crucify him again the crucifixion is proved here of Jesus and they press into service a pastor by coming from the country Simon of Cyrene the father of Alexander and Rufus to bear his cross to bear the cross of Jesus because Jesus could not carry the cross further because he suffered too much and he fell on the ground and could not continue carrying the cross. He had no energy left to carrying the cross, right? So Simon of Cyrene was forced by the Romans to carry the cross instead. So, okay. And then Luke 23, 26. And when they led him away, they let hold of one Simon of Cyrene coming in from the country and placed on him the cross to carry behind Jesus. Right? So again, here Simon of Cyrene was told to carry the cross for Jesus instead. Then here in John 19:17, they took Jesus, therefore, and he went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. So here you see that Jesus is the one carrying the cross. So there's no con contradiction, guys. There is no contradiction because they both carry the cross. Remember, Jesus carried his cross. Then he got tired. He fell on the ground. He had no energy left to continue carrying it. So Simon of Cyrene was the one asked and forced to carry the cross for Jesus to continue to dragging the cross all the way to Golgotha for Jesus to be crucified. So both carried the cross. John 19.17 does not say that Jesus carried the cross alone. Right? It says he bore his own cross. He carried the cross until he could not carry any more. Then Simon assisted. So it's a continuation, right? 
it's not a contradiction. A contradiction occurs when one statement makes another statement impossible. But both are supposed to be true. There is no contradiction in the text. Right? Jesus had undergone a very physical traumatic view hours. Please consider the following verses placed in order of his ordeal and pay attention to the physical trauma he received before he ever arrived at the cross. So you see, there is no contradiction, it's a continuation, right? So this Abdul has no clue what he's talking about. He must have saw these verses somewhere on an Islamic website. And you know how Muslims are, right? They love to attack the Bible without any clue. Muslims love to attack the so-called Bible of Allah. Keep attacking Allah. We love you to do that because you're attacking Allah and the Prophet of Islam himself who confirmed the Bible, the Torah and Injil. You Muslims are nothing bad, ignorant, certified donkeys. Keep doing what you do. You are only proving the crucifixion to be correct. You are not paying attention. You are not focusing. Why are you not focusing on the real topic? the crucifixion of Jesus. Why are you trying to show us a so-called contradiction which is not there? Focus, Abdul. At least drink some camel urine so maybe you can focus next time. Why? <laughs> Those people yeah, we saw why, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, treaties of the great theft. Is Abdul, it's not theft, it's Seth. Seth, not theft. Okay? I think you lost or dropped a tooth there. I hope you'll find your tooth, man. Maybe it's a golden tooth. So I hope uh, not, your other Muslim brother will not find your golden tooth. Because it's Seth. It's not Seth. Okay. Uh, so let us continue. He's been confused too. You're Matthew the only confused guy, man. That, that Simon carried the cross. But John is saying that that Jesus carried the cross. How is it possible? Don't you see that Matthew is already confused with John? They don't know who carried the cross? We already Please, refuted that, Abdul. Matthew 27, 32, the Simon carrying the cross. Cross? And no, John, it's cross, not cross. 19, 17, that's Jesus carrying his own cross. That's your problem. You don't know your Bible. Yeah, yeah. Something else. That you don't know you talk about abdul abdul you're already spanked and served how many times by now many times during this video you have no clue what you're talking about you're a certified donkey like muhammad hijab your hero you're a certified donkey like your fake prophet you have no clue what you're talking about you never heard of the second treatise of the great set that i mentioned in my last video right your fake prophet had access to these documents because these Gnostic writing were circling around the Mediterranean Sea and as a merchant under Khadija, the first wife of Muhammad, she was the wealthiest woman in Mecca, he had access to these Aramaic writings, right? And don't forget, Waraqa ibn Nawfal translated them from Aramaic to Arabic. So Muhammad, he had access to this writing and he simply adopted this man-made writing inside the Quran. That's the big deal. That's the big issue. Your Quran is nothing but a man-made book. And I proved that in my last video. And you cannot do anything about it. So you are only crying. You are going around the topic. You are tap dancing around the topic. You are not addressing the issue here. Face it, Abdul, you have been again spanked and served. Your prophet is nothing but a fake prophet and you cannot do anything about it. Let us continue. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You even don't know which Jesus you're talking about. Obviously, you do, you do not know that there are two Jesuses in your Bible. 
two Jesuses in our Bible? <laughs> you know, uh, you know this guy. This guy is funny. Two Jesus in our Bible, guys. Try not to laugh. <laughs> two Jesus in our Bible. Abdul, did you smoke something? Really? I mean, come on. Did you did you smoke something? Let us continue. Two Jesus Barabbas is in your Bible. Jesus' real name is Jesus Barabbas. It's not a Christ. No. No, Abdul. His name is Jesus Christ. Stupid. Anyway, guys. Um, enough is enough. I think we have spanked this Abdul more than enough. It's time to end this video. I hope you enjoyed this spanking. And if this guy uh, is truly a man and he has the knowledge and the courage, I know he doesn't, but I uh, sent him a challenge. I challenged him for a debate. I hope he's going to be a man and he has the courage to actually debate me. You know, I love debates. I will debate anyone. No problem. But never ever make a video and get spanked behind it. Because we will spank you, we will serve you and show everybody that you are an ignorant certified donkey. Guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, please press the like button, smash it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Download this video and share it around on your social media. And thank you for watching. God bless.